Looking at the sample resume and job description, you can see how much the resume was customized based on the job description. Take a couple of minutes to recognize in small groups the sections of the resume that seem customized to you. Taking your attention to the left side, you can see that wording in the qualification section nearly matches exact language used in the job description. The profile section demonstrates my passion for the line of work while not sounding too textbook. And the interest section gives an idea of my interest specifically as they relate to the job description. If you look at the right side of the resume, you can see that it looks brief because the intention here is to only focus on the accomplishments and duties that directly relate to the job that is being applied for. Let's look at a job description of something you may apply for, but I would still technically be qualified for, to force me to expand my degree of customization with this resume. There seems to be heavy emphasis on design for manufacturability in each bullet point, so I would make a note of my practice of DFM in all my past jobs. There is also emphasis on meeting deadlines on time, so I can discuss how I'm required to meet deadlines weekly in my current job, and how at HF Hoff, I was often given only a couple of days to complete small design modification projects. The position also requires experience on machining equipment, especially CNC equipment. So the portion of my time at Central Washington University as a lab technician could be elaborated to discuss the fact that I was running CNC lathes and mills nearly on a daily basis to produce lab equipment solutions.